Hey everybody, this is the new Barton Musical Circuit's single random rhythm module. Um, I did a four channel version of this a couple of years ago, uh, where there was two knobs controlling four channels, and it had a lot of buttons, it was a little bit uh, difficult for people to use, uh, and so I decided to make a smaller single channel version of it that it's maybe a little bit easier to find the rack space for in your, uh, in your modular system. And then I also added uh, a little bit of extra uh, functionality to it. So, uh, let me just quickly go over all the controls and inputs and outputs. Uh, it's got the same two knobs as the uh, original version. Length, which is controlling how many clock ticks until it repeats. And then division, uh, it uses an external clock, and this is controlling how this external clock gets divided. And there's actually a multiplier built in, so uh, all the way to the counterclockwise is going to be multiply times 4, and all the way clockwise would be dividing by, I think, 64. Uh, there is a documentation PDF that'll have these things written down without people saying, I think, before making these sorts of statements. Uh, moving on, we have the reset button, which just takes the... Uh, pattern back to the first beat, and the new button, which creates a new pattern. Uh, and then we have save and load. Uh, these are saving or loading the pattern that you have. Um, and then this toggle right here is selecting which bank you would be uh, saving or loading to. And it's got three positions to the toggle, so you can save or load three different things. Uh, three different things can be saved. All of those could be loaded one at a time. Sorry if I'm phrasing things strangely. This is the first uh, demo video I've done in since uh, like six months or something like that. I've kind of been taking it easy. Um, and then below this we have uh, inputs for the reset and new if you wanted to use uh, external modules to trigger those. And then finally we have the output jacks for gate and trigger. And then we have these LEDs up here showing that. So I'm going to turn it on, turn the sound up, and then just play with it for a second. And then I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to make a new pattern. And then I'm going to save that. And make a new one. And when I load the old pattern, it's also going to change the settings. It'll change it so it's like these knobs were pointing where they were when I saved the old one. Um, yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to show you that is a new feature that wasn't in the old version uh, is that you can set it so that instead of having trigger and gate that are each controlling the same rhythm, you can alter it so that it'll be two triggers doing two different rhythms or two gates doing two different rhythms. So, and the way you do this is you turn these knobs all the way to the right while the unit's powered down and you hold the reset button while you're powering up, and it's gonna read the position of this toggle to select. So all the way to the bottom, double triggers, middle, double gates, top, normal. So I'm gonna set it to double triggers. Oh, and I turned the sound down. And then I'll set it to double gates. All right. Thank you for watching.